everybody. Welcome to today's workout. So we have another body sculpt workout on the agenda. I hope that you guys are ready and, and enjoying this week's workout so far. Okay guys, we are going to get started. We have 28 exercises, 35 seconds cardio, 50 seconds maximum repetitions for each exercise. So let's get started. If you haven't warmed up, take a few seconds to warm up. Well, a few minutes and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, we have 10 seconds of prep and then we're going to start with cardio of choice. I'm going to be doing running in place. You can choose to do burpees. You can choose to do mountain climbers. If you so wish. Breathe, belly pulls in. Move your arms, relax your shoulders. We're going to have jumping jacks next. Doing good, guys. There we go. Breathe. So if you weren't warmed up, you're getting really warm now. optional. Um, you can do all of the exercises body weight. I am going to grab a dumbbell for about three exercises during this routine just to add a little extra resistance. Almost there guys. Three, two, one, cardio. We're gonna have a forward lunge next. So you can do this body weight. I am gonna grab a dumbbell. And we're gonna do all one side. Doing good. Two, one. Breathe. Okay, all one side. Big step forward. Lunge. And back. Core stays strong and pulled in. Hips sink straight down toward the floor. We're getting there. Good. Hurry on the other side. Doing great, guys. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Other side. Breathe. Keep going. There we go, cardio. 
Okay, we're going to be on the mat next for hydrant. So we're going to get into an all four kneeling position. If it's feeling easy, amp up that intensity. Three, two, one, kneel. Here we go. All one side, belly stays pulled in, squeeze. And get that nice squeeze and lift at the top end of that motion. Breathe. Doing great, guys. Keep going. Less than 10 seconds. Okay, party. Other side, next. Three, two, one. Here we go. Breathe. Belly pulls in. Hold that squeeze. Hands are below your shoulders. Good job, keep going. Try not to stop moving. Excellent job, guys. Cardio. We'll be down on the mat again next for a side V up. Almost there. Make it down and start down the line. There we go. Lay on your side, reach up toward your feet. If you need to bend your knees, you can. Make it a little easier. Otherwise, keep those legs straight. Try and tap the toes, the ankles, wherever you can reach. Breathe. Doing good. going. Cardio. And then we'll do the other side. Bend 
breathe. Doing good, keep going. Next exercise, weight is optional. We're gonna do a floor tap squat, alternating arms. Breathe. Almost there, guys. Two, one, okay. One arm holds the weight if you're holding it. Tap and squeeze. Butt reaches back. If you can't tap, that's okay. Flat back. Breathe. Breathe. Hard squeeze of those glutes in between. Doing good. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good job. Cardio. We're going to have bird dogs next. So back on all fours on the mat. Other side. Opposite arm and leg reach. Pull that belly in. Let that back arch as you squeeze it together. Doing good, guys. Push through that heel. into the back to squeeze. Almost there, last few seconds. Cardio. We'll be back down on the mat next for heel slides. Doing 
feeling good. Keep going. Almost there. Here we go. Lean back on your elbows. Knees come to 90. One heel drops to the floor. Squeeze in and up. Keep that belly button. Hold it in toward the mat. Slide it out, hand in. Out. Come, bring the heel to the butt before you lift. So this is working those deep core muscles. Doing good. Excellent job, guys. Cardio. We're gonna have a reverse plank next. So we're gonna sit back down on the mat like we were, and instead of doing a plank with our hands forward, we're planking with our hands behind us, belly and chest toward the ceiling. Good job, guys. Pick up that pace if you can. Three, two, one. Breathe. Doing great. Keep going. You've got this. Don't quit on yourself. Hips high. Good job. Cardio. Okay, we're going to have a V slip next. So we're going to stay standing for this one. Hips are going to go, or feet are gonna go about hip distance apart. Last few seconds. Hands come up in front of your face. We're gonna dip right and then to the other side. Little bend in the knee, driving through those feet and glutes as you come down, like you're making a V-shape. Chest stays lifted. Breathe. Fire through those glutes and thighs. Doing great, guys. Keep moving. A little faster. Two, one, cardio. Okay, we're going to have a tricep push up next. So we're going to lay on one side on the mat. Knees high. Okay. Here we go. Push. So hand plants in front of your chest, top arm. Bottom arm hugs your rib cage. You're pushing through that palm, tapping down, and then lifting right back into it. Strengthening the backs of those arms. You're hitting the whole arm too, but tricep is where we're focused. Good 
Doing good. We're getting there, guys. Three, two, one. Good job. Cardio and then other side. Belly pulls in, even on high knees, we're engaging that core. Okay, other side. Bottom arm wraps around the ribs, top arm presses into the floor. Doing good. Breathe. Doing great. Keep moving. We're almost there. One. Good job, cardio. Okay, next we're going to have a jab to uppercut. So we're going to punch forward with one arm, punch forward with the other arm, then up and under, up and under. You want to be quick with the forward backward motion, pulling your hand back fast on all motions, and squeezing those shoulder blades back into the back to prep for that forward motion again. Good job, guys. Last few seconds. Here we go. Legs plant. Front, front, up, up. Front, front, up, up. Breathe. Powering through from the back. Breathe. <laughs> I keep losing it on that uppercut. We're getting there, guys. Fast movements. Good job. cross punch so we're going to do only one arm you're going to be punching across the body and back in breathe so all one side two one here we go all one side Fast in and out, using your body and your feet to drive into it. Imagine you're knocking something down. Doing good. Almost there. Cardio. Same thing, other side is next. Doing good, guys. Okay, 
Okay, other side. Same thing. And it's gonna feel easier on one side than the other. Totally normal. Doing good. And again, picture you're knocking something down. So really power into it. Doing good. Almost there. Here we go. Cardio. Okay, we're gonna have our kneeling hip tap next. So we're gonna come down on one arm and one knee. Breathe. Okay, here we go. We're going to kneel, tap our hip, lift it high. Tap and lift. If you can, keep this leg floating. You're going to activate those obliques. And then outside of the thigh, I'm going to come in a little bit. Breathe. And you can go faster on this one. If you can, I'm moving a little bit more slowly right now. Great job. Keep going. Last few seconds. There we go, cardio on the other side. So same thing, other direction. Breathe. Here we go. Other side. So again, kneeling. I don't think I'm gonna hit anything this time. Breathe. Keep that top leg floating if you can. Tap and press. Those hips and leg press high on that leg. Less than 10 seconds. Almost there. Ah, cardio. And we'll be back down on the mat for hip thrusts. So for that one, hands are gonna plant below your shoulders this way. Heels are gonna be below your knees, belly toward the ceiling. We're gonna do all one side. Doing great. Here we go. Okay, all one side. So hands below, one leg extends, and we're gonna press it up. Press those hips and that heel to the ceiling. Breathe. And if it ever gets too hard, you can double up and just we'll do it two times in a row. Breathe. Breathe. Good job, guys. Keep going. We're 
almost there. Two, one, good job. Ooh, I feel that burn. <laughs> Same thing, other leg next. Breathe. Almost there. Other side. Now. Here we go. Grab a dumbbell, hold it at your chest. You could do that, or two later dumbbells, or you could do a body weight. Up to you. When we come into our goddess stance, feet are going to be wide, toes turned out. I'm make my way to my weight. Here we go. Sink low into it. We're going to tap, center, tap, center. Try and keep the tailbone tucked, chest lifted, so we're not leaning forward like this. It's like this. And the lower you can go into it, the more you're engaging the thighs. Breathe. Less than 10. Three, two, one. Good job. Cardio. We're gonna have a locust stretch next. So we're gonna lay on our bellies, starting in that superman position. On our bellies, arms and legs lifted. Fantastic, guys. Just keep moving. Three, two, one on your bellies. Okay, so arms and legs stretch, and then stretch behind you, lifting your chest. Keep those knees lifted, making space between your body and the floor. Breathe. Breathe. Keep going. You've got this, guys. You're doing great. Cardio. We're gonna have a crescent lunge pulse with a heel lift next. Weight is optional, but you can hold it at your shoulders if you'd like. Doing good. Okay. So the trick on this move 
is we're going to keep our front heel lifted. We're going to pulse and lay leg straight. Bend and straighten. Staying high on those toes the whole time. If that's crazy, you can just keep that heel down and lift. Breathe. Doing great. Probably feeling the burn in that thigh by now. Breathe. Good job, cardio. And then same thing, other leg next. Doing good, guys. Breathe through it. We're getting there. Almost there. Ooh, that burn was real. Last two exercises, so right and a left. We're going to do warrior three with a knee. Breathe into it, push through to the end. Okay, warrior three, all one side. Bring it in, lift that knee, press it back. Flat back the whole time. And if you need to come up in between, you can do that. And then you can even do this in standing. Or keep it low, a little bend in that standing leg. And back. Good job, guys. Keep moving. Less than 10 seconds. Shake it out, last cardio. Doing fantastic. We made it to the end, one more exercise left. exercise. Doing great guys. You can make it. Keep pushing through. Oh. 
stretch it out. You did fantastic. So let your heart rate come down. Let your breathing come back to normal. Deep breaths. And once your heart rate comes down, you can finish up with some stretching. Um, as always, the full length breakdown, along with the other workouts for this challenge, will be free on my website, benderfitness.com. Activity completed. Dance time, happy dance. <laughs> um, and we appreciate you guys. I hope you're doing great with your mile run challenge. So let me know how that's going so far too. And you can leave me comments, I will be checking them. Also, if you're able to help make a donation to keep us free and sustainable, go to patreon.com slash benderfitness. And we appreciate you, we thank you, and we'll see you next time with a new workout. Bye guys.